Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show how to install small metal hooks in the Coral UV sanitizer to better support N95 respirators. So the Coral sanitizer comes with small plastic hooks in it, which are used to support the basket. And the basket goes in one corner and you could put small items on that basket, let's say like a cell phone or keys or something. And that works great because it keeps those items very close to the top of the chamber, which is where the two bulbs are at. Unfortunately, if we just take our N95 masks and we set them down in the bottom, um, while they fit very nicely in there, you can get two masks in there perfectly, when you close the, the sanitizer, they're at a fairly good distance from the bulbs. They're maybe on the order of six inches away from the bulbs. And that intensity level of the UV light drops with distance very quickly. And so we're really not washing them or exposing them to the maximum light that we could in this chamber. So what we want is we want some way to elevate the mass such that they sit just below the level of the top of the chamber. And that way when we close it, the bulbs will be very close to the surface of the, the mass and they'll help to disinfect them that much better. So there are a number of ways you could do it and I talk about these in a previous video, but you really don't want to just set something in the bottom because it prevents the light from reflecting around, which is what you really like. So instead, what I've done is I've come up with a way to take the existing basket and essentially you turn it over upside down and you put some hooks inside the chamber and you, you let the basket rest on those hooks. And by doing that, the, the mass then can sit on the top of that basket and you mount a hook on each side as well so that the mask will rest against them. And I'll show how all that's done. And at the end, when you're finished, the two masks can sit side by side and they'll be much closer to the bulbs. And so they'll be exposed to much more UV light. All right, so I'll show how to install each of the hooks and then we'll look at the finest, uh, finished product. So the most important hooks to get right are the hooks along the back wall, okay? So along this back wall, uh, we're gonna place two hooks and the two hooks are gonna be side by side, spaced apart just a little bit. And then we're gonna use those hooks to support the basket and I'll show how that's done. All right, so these hooks that, that I sell come with a little plastic piece on the front and you can peel that off uh, so that they're nice and shiny. They just put that on there so they don't get scratched. So you peel that off, you end up with this shiny hook. And then it has a 3M adhesive on the back. Now, the 3M adhesive does a fantastic job of sticking to things. So you have to be careful that you get uh, the hooks in the right position before you really press them on. Otherwise, you'll have a hard time getting them off. If you do have to remove the hooks for some reason, because let's say you just fundamentally messed up, you can take a hair dryer and warm them up and then just peel the hooks off and any residue can quickly be rubbed off with your finger. All right, so you can get them nice and hot and they'll peel off. They're not easy to get off, but with a hairdryer you can do it pretty quickly. All right, so I'm gonna show where these two back hooks go. You're gonna align the, the leftmost hook with the left side of this plastic hook that comes with the sanitizer. And you're gonna put the top of the hook two and three quarter inches from the top of the sanitizer. So you can fold, push this lip up a little bit and measure two and three quarter inches down and you're gonna put the hook right there in line like that, nice and flat, okay? All right, so that's gonna be our first hook. I'll go ahead and place that one. Okay, so I've gone ahead and placed the first hook and again, from the top of the sanitizer down is about two and three quarter inches and it's roughly in line with the edge of the plastic hook that's already in there, okay? Now, the second hook is going to go next to this one but spaced over just slightly, all right? And it's gonna have, uh, it's gonna be from, measured from left edge to left edge, it's gonna be one and three eighths inches, okay? One and three eighths inches. It's gonna be in line with it, and one and three eighths inches if you measure from left edge to the left edge of the next hook. Now, I didn't mention this on the first hook, but to get the hooks to adhere, I think people probably know this, the 3M strip peels off the back and that's what makes it sticky. Okay, so I'll go ahead and attach the second hook and show you where that's positioned. So when you finish with the two back hooks, they should be mounted to the, to the wall like such. Again, the measurement from this left edge to this left edge should be about one and three eighths inches, okay? So it, again, there's a little bit of margin of error there. You can have about an eighth inch off. If you're a little closer, or a little further, that's okay. Uh, it'll still work okay for you. But you want it roughly one and uh, three eighths inches. Again, as you place the second hook, just do it real gently, make your measurements. And if it's not right, you can pop it right back off and move it. Just do it real gentle for a while until you get it where you want it. 
and then you can press them to be firmly seated. Okay, so again, two and three quarter inches down from the top, one and three eighths inches uh, separated from left edge to left edge. The leftmost hook roughly in line with the left edge of the plastic hook. Okay, that shows the back hooks. Let's look now at the front hook. Okay, so I'll go ahead and turn the unit around so we can see the front wall here. All right, it's a little hard to see just from the camera angle. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount one hook right about here, okay? What you'll see if you look at this front wall is there's already one plastic hook here to support the basket normally. And then there's a seam that runs all the way down the front of the chamber, okay? We're gonna place our hook over to this side of the seam and there's gonna be a one quarter inch gap between our hook and that seam, okay? The hook is gonna be placed two and three quarter inches down, that would be to the top of the hook, and one quarter inch away from the seam. So it's gonna go in here like so. And we're gonna measure this distance from the top of the metal down to the top of the hook is two and three quarter inches and then the gap that will be between the seam and the edge of our hook will be one quarter inch. Okay, so I'll go ahead and place that and let you see how that comes out. Okay, so I've gone ahead and mounted that hook and that hook is roughly a quarter inch away from the seam. All right, that distance isn't super critical, but around a quarter inch, you can give a little gap there. And then roughly two and three quarters, or maybe just a hair more, maybe two and seven eighths, but somewhere right in that area of two and three quarter inches down from the lip of the the chamber, the metal top of the chamber, down to the top of the metal hook. Okay, now there's some margin of error on that hook, on this particular hook, that's okay. If you're off by a little bit, it just changes how the basket's supported at the front and you, you won't notice much difference, okay? But that's where the front hook goes. Let's look at the left and right sides. I've gone ahead and rotated the chamber so we can see the left wall. We're gonna mount one hook on the left wall and it's gonna be mounted one inch from the lip, down from the lip of the chamber and right up against this plastic hook, okay? So if you do it right, the top of this hook will line up roughly with the little indented part of that plastic hook, and it just kind of goes right there, one inch down, right up against this plastic hook. That's where we're gonna mount this one. Okay, so I've gone ahead and mounted the hook, and you can see it's down one inch, and it's up flush up against the plastic hook, okay? So it just butts up against it, down one inch. All right, now let's go ahead and look at the right side. So the right side's quite easy. All you're gonna do is take a hook and place it centered in the wall down one inch. So it doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but you can eyeball it. And then you're gonna go down one inch and put it, the hook in there. So centered along this wall, and then down one inch uh, from the top of the chamber, okay? And that will be our hook for the right side. I'll go, I'll go ahead and mount it and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've gone ahead and mounted it. It's down one inch and roughly centered along that right wall. Okay, so and turn the chamber back around so you can see it. Now there's a total of five hooks, okay? There's two along the back wall, there's one on the left wall, one on the right wall, and then one here on the front wall, all right? Now I wanna show you how they're used to support the basket because it's just a little bit tricky uh, to put on if you haven't done it before. The basket is gonna be turned upside down, okay? And there are these little eyelets, all right? We're gonna use the eyelets at the front of the basket, these two here. And those are gonna actually, the hooks are gonna thread through those, okay? So the two hooks were spaced apart, the same as these eyelets. So they're gonna thread through there, and then the basket's gonna set down in and just lay on the front hook. It doesn't thread on the front hook, it just sets on it, okay? So I'll show you how that's done, all right? So you line up the two eyelets on the front, like so, and then the basket just sets in there like so. And it should sit nice and snug when you're done, okay? If it wasn't threaded, it would move around, but being threaded, it holds it nice and secure. All right, so if you did everything right, the basket will sit in there and it'll be roughly flat. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit, uh, you know, not level, but it's roughly flat. And then we're gonna take the, the respirators and we're gonna rest them on this shelf and on the side hooks, the, wall, the hooks along the side walls. So we'll put them like so. And again, if you did the side hooks about right, the respirators will sit in here you know, roughly flat, all right? It doesn't matter if they're a little bit off. And you can turn them, depending on what size respirators you have, you can turn them however they support best for your particular uh, situation. So, you know, you just kind of get them in here as best you can. Uh, and now when you close the, the unit, they're gonna be much, much closer to the lamps, which is what you want. Now, you don't want the respirators poking up over the top where they push up against this. It might get up against the lamps and that might shorten the life or maybe even burn the mask. 
So you want them below the line, but if you follow the measurements I gave you, you'll end up with maybe about half an inch between the top of the mass and essentially these, uh, the grating here, which is you know, what protects the bulbs. So that's the way this all works, all right? Five hooks get mounted. You set the, the uh, basket in upside down, threading the front hooks, resting it, and then you just set your two respirators in there.